was really good. Beautiful morning, my amazing people. And welcome back to Familia Kicks HQ, where we go ahead and discuss in-depth reviews. And we talk about sneakers and stuff and the huge, but I'm drinking some cafecito. Man, that's good. Listen, man, today we want to go ahead and discuss and unbox and have my initial impressions on a sneaker that recently came out about two, two, three weeks ago, I want to say. Maybe no, maybe about a month ago. And um, let's go ahead and get it. I have not unboxed it yet. Um, hopefully it's this actual sneaker. What the heck? These people will be delivering my packages. All types of jacked up. Broken. All right, guys, so here you go. Here goes the package. And uh, let's go ahead and see what we have here. Jordan 1s, nine and a half. And these I actually ended up copping through reset because I have a feeling these are gonna go up. I've seen a lot of reviews and <sighs> oh snap that orange. That orange though, that orange hits a little bit different. Okay. Alright guys, this is uh this is it. Tell me what you guys think about it. Initial impressions, what you guys what do you guys think? All right, guys. So let me let me get my first impressions here. Okay, first of all, you know what we gotta do. We gotta do the. <sighs> oh, these smell extra potent. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, guys, this is really, really nice. This colorway is super fire. That orange definitely is like electrifying. Straight up metallic orange looking. This color blocking is really unique. We haven't seen something like this in quite a bit, but all white with the heel, upper ankle area, mid panel as well. And uh, let me see here, the tongue looks really good right there. This tongue is super plush, like thick. That's probably the thickest tongue that I've seen in a long time. That's what she said. But then we're gonna go ahead and move our way to the toe box. Toe box, um, really nice, just regular toe box there. Now the leather here is nothing crazy. Like, as far as you know, I'm a tumbled leather, super soft leather guy. This leather is not tumbled at all. I don't see any tumbled leather whatsoever. Swoosh is your regular, genuine leather. Look, I'm now the heel, like the white leather is actually pretty soft to the touch on the surface. So I like that. Probably, it reminds me a little bit of which ones? Uh, the court purples, I think, like that type of leather all around. So that black leather around the toe box and also the super vibrant orange outsole and I don't know if it's me if I'm tripping but I feel like the stars here the grip on the toe box I mean not uh, the grip on the outsole here is super like prominent like like it's just mad like I don't actually like sharp like really like you feel it so I don't know if that's different from other pairs I mean you know what let's compare it quick Woo. oh you know what no that's just the way it is that's just the way it is but yeah guys, so this, this sneaker is really nice. Um, it's been a little sleeper, right? It's been slowly creeping up, I think, in price. So there's been a lot of people rocking these lately. A lot of your famous YouTubers or whatnot, a lot of your famous social media people have been really, really enjoying this colorway. And I honestly love it. I think it's super out there, super unique. I like that that unique stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's really different. It's noticeable on feet. Like, I mean, with the color blocking, I think the majority being white with that hint of orange in the upper heel area or the upper ankle area. And then you're gonna go ahead and get that orange out. So I think it really, really makes it noticeable. Like you're gonna stand out when you rock these for sure. As far as any other differences, I do see that the insole, like this insole is different. But you see that insole? That's different. I never, I haven't really seen that in other pairs. Let's compare it to, yeah. If you look at the hypers, doesn't have that. So that's super unique to this specific colorway. And guys, all in all, this is a really nice, a nice shoe. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. The only complaint I have about this sneaker specifically is possibly quality control. Like if you see here, I don't know if you see that, th there's a little bit of a thread around that area sticking out on the swoosh. Also, there's glue all over this sneaker like with the outsole or the midsole 
connecting to the upper. There's glue marks all over this sneaker. So that's just, that's been kind of my gripe with Nike lately. That honestly, there's some UA pairs that look better than Nike pairs. That's just, that's just facts. And Nike, I feel like for these colorways that are not super hype beast, they kind of just missed the mark a little bit on QC. Um, same thing with my fragments. Let me see. Yeah, the same thing with these frags, um, the Beijing frags, like the actual tooling code on one of the pairs is smudged. So I'm like, I mean, I just, Nike sometimes be like, you know, and also there's glue here. There's actually a, a like a slice mark, like somebody cut it right around there. I see that right there. But guys, this is just, this is just me being very, very nitpicky. But all in all, guys, I hope guys enjoyed this video i appreciate you guys tuning in rocking with your boy once again man show some love in the comment section please share this video i want to go ahead and do a giveaway so that's just that's just facts and it's going to be a nice nice giveaway it's not going to be no chippy choppy stuff all right it's going to be some full, some it's going to be like it's going to be some of that good slappity slappity stuff you know what i mean so anyway guys go ahead Tune in with your boy, rock with me. I appreciate y'all. Show some love to my other videos if you haven't already. My family, mi familia, my people, mi gente, I appreciate you guys greatly. Enjoy your day. I'm holla at y'all later. Peace.